All right, really quickly, guys, before I jump into this video, I just want to talk about sunscreen. So if you've never been to the U.S. Virgin Islands, chemical sunscreens are actually banned here, and that's because they mess up the coral reefs. So, of course, no one's going to be checking to make sure you're actually wearing the right sunscreen. You should just do the right thing because you're a good human. So definitely make sure you have the proper sunscreen. I also recommend getting a car rental for the time that you're there. It's just going to make it a lot easier for you to get around, and it's a lot cheaper than taking taxis. St. Thomas is filled with so many beautiful beaches, so visiting some of these beaches should definitely be at the top of your list. Here I just included some of the beaches we were able to visit, starting with Cokey Point Beach. This beach had the clearest water out of all the beaches we visited, and it was perfect for snorkeling. Also, it had a lot of um, entertainment, so you had music, you had the bars, good place to get drinks and stuff. So if you're looking for more of an upbeat atmosphere, this beach is perfect for you. If you're the kind of person that wants to relax on the beach, away from the crowds, John Brewer's Beach is definitely the beach for you. This was hands down our favorite beach. I swear we came back to this beach countless times for just the relaxation and the vibes. So definitely our favorite. And also while we were snorkeling, we were able to see a lot of sea turtles. So that was pretty cool. If you guys get a chance to visit Red Hook, I definitely recommend trying to stop by during the evening. This place is filled with tons of bards and lively nightlife. We ended up coming here twice for drinks and had a really good time, so I definitely recommend you check this place out. Where are we going to eat? I don't know. After we eat. <laughs> For a good trip. It's more life. Woo! Cheers. Cheers. Woo. One, two, three, drink. Woo! This was a view we were able to check out during the evening. It was really, really pretty. It overlooked the entire island of St. Thomas. And yeah, I know there's a lot of other views that you can check out while you're here. The center of Charlotte Amelie, you're gonna wanna check out for the little shops that are located here. This little town pretty much has um, a lot of jewelry stores and we were told that the US Virgin Islands are a duty-free destination. So you can pretty much find some good deals in jewelry. If that's what you're looking for. We ended up just doing happy hour here one evening and then coming back the next night for dinner. You can also find little shops with souvenirs here if that's what you're looking for. 
but we just ended up stopping by this little stand before we did dinner at Greenhouse. And this place was really packed. It actually had a wait to be seated. So. After grabbing that ferry from St. Thomas to St. John's, we ended up hopping in the car and driving through this main road that pretty much took us to all the beaches. So um, yeah, it's one road and it'll literally bring you to every single beach on St. John's or for the most part, most of the beaches on St. John's. This is the first one we stopped at, Cinnamon Bay Beach, and we just kept beach hopping. I know one of the beaches, which I think is the most popular one, was a $5 entry fee and we ended up skipping that one and head into Maho Bay Beach. Maho Bay Beach was our favorite beach. This is actually Maho Bay Beach here. Across from it was a bunch of little bars and shops and so that was pretty cool. They also had kayak rentals and stuff. So definitely our favorite beach. most of the day checking out all the beaches on St. John's and after we got done with that we checked out this trail called the Annaberg Historic Trail. Once we got to the top of that we see this incredible view. Also at the top of this is this historic slave quarter from back in the day and what's left of it so that was pretty awesome when we checked that out and once we got back down to the bottom of the trail just across the street was this beautiful breathtaking area where we just kind of chilled and actually if you look across the water there you can see the British island of Tortuga or Tortoga I think it's pronounced but this place was super super chill. So yeah, hope you guys like this video. If you're new here, definitely be sure to subscribe if you like this video. Give it a thumbs up and yeah, thanks for watching.